All right. Hey, I'm John Carolino, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've been on a little bit of a YouTube hiatus. I haven't really been around because I've been really focusing on my family. Uh, my family has grown a lot. For those of you guys who know um, me with my past history with family and kids, uh, we've definitely come a long way. So thanks for sticking with me if you're watching this. But I'm coming with something new today. I'm really excited to share uh, kind of what I've been up to um, in the past couple of weeks, uh, figuring out some new stuff. And I'm really excited to at least commit to four weeks of regular uploading. And it's something really new I want to share with you guys. And I'm calling it Make It A Kit Monday. Thinking about the YouTube channel, I really wanted to make some changes. Um, I wasn't getting bored doing what I was doing, but I felt like it was only going to last for so long. And not that like my goal is to like try to stay on the cutting edge of what's going to be the most entertaining, but I'm making videos, I'm wanting to stretch my creativity, and there's just so much I'm into, um, so, different, so many different kinds of genres in music, but I really love ambient guitar stuff, obviously, but I actually really love making beats for a long time now, like there's just been a part of me that has really been in like beat making. So I decided I would take another leap, learn another piece of software, and get another piece of hardware. Intro, the Machine Micro um, by Native Instruments. This thing is really cool. A little late to the game with the whole machine thing, but as far as like sample slicing, making beats, uh, stuff like that, this thing is great. Um, great for people who are just getting into the machine workflow. I just wanted something that I could start um, slicing up samples with. And I want to find ways to integrate um, machine into my normal workflow with ambient guitar stuff. Thus, I wanted to challenge myself with sampling things, um, turning them into drum kits and adapting that to my YouTube channel uh, and how I perform and how I just bring new music and new ideas and stuff like that. So, Make It A Beat Monday is all about getting everyday normal things or maybe some cool things and turning it into a drum kit via Machine and Machine Micro Mark III, at least for me. I want to give back to the community as well. so. I'm going to give away all these drum kits for Machine. And so if you have Machine, you can download um, the drum kit that I'll be creating. If you don't have Machine, and if you're like if you're just using Logic or something like that, I'm gonna release all the samples as well. So I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm pretty excited about the kit I just built today. So today, for Make It A Kit Monday, I sampled this. This is my Ozark Trail 30 ounce cup with a straw. And I figured what a great place to start. I'll make this thing up and I'll hit it every which way and see what kind of sounds I can make out of it. Throw it in a machine and warp it, you know, put some reverb on it, put effects on it and see what I come up with. So here was the process. Everything was recorded on the Zoom F8 field recorder. Um, I'm using a field recorder because I'm at work and that's kind of all I have to use as a recording interface. And <laughs> it's actually got some really good preamps on it. For the mic, I use a small diaphragm condenser, uh, the Rode NT5, great mic. And I took my cup, put it on the desk, mic'd it up, and hit it every which way. Let's see what we can make. I recorded straight to the SD card for this example. Um, and after I was done recording everything, I just popped that SD card into my Mac, chopped everything up in machine, and started making a kit out of it. For the kick of the kit, I'm honestly not sure where that sound came from. Um, some kind of fumbling around with it. <laughs> I got a kick and I ended up taking out the highs, putting a little bit of compression on it, and adjusting the EQ to give it a little bit more bottom end. For the snare, I believe that was the sound of me hitting the lid 
by itself with a straw. Almost actually like a real snare. For the hi-hat sound, I was hitting the cup on the side with the straw, and then I pitched it up all the way, um, and it gives me that really quick, tight, close hi-hat sound. I know I wanted some kind of crash of some sort, so I think another time when I was hitting the, uh, the cup with the straw, um, I pitched that up and then I put a lot of reverb with a heavy tail on it to kind of give it that, um, that ride or crash kind of sound, that just long trailing crash type sound. And then the kit is filled with other uh, various elements that I think are pretty cool to incorporate with um, the drum kit. So after all that was said and done, I went ahead and made a little beat and put a little bit of an ambient guitar on it and came up with something like this. Well, that's it for today guys make sure you check out the links below it'll have the link to download the drum kit for machine and the samples if you want them do me a favor if you download them and you start creating something cool off of it and you post it online tag me and then use hashtag make it a kit Monday and let me know what you guys come up with I hope this new direction for my YouTube channel is something you guys will appreciate I always love uh, challenging myself with the music doing new things so make it a kit Monday Make sure you come back next week. Who knows what I'm going to turn into a kit next time. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks again for following. Guys, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And I'm really glad that some of you are still sticking around and that there's probably some new subscribers as well. So um, you guys know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And we'll see you on the next one.